Yes, that is the man changing the face of Phantom of the Opera as it celebrates more than a quarter century on Broadway. That's well over 11,000 performances. Wow. Jamie Wax went behind the scenes to learn how this legendary musical stays so fresh. Jamie, good morning. Good morning, Gail. Yes, that issue of staying fresh can be a challenge for any long-running show. But the latest Phantom actor, Norm Lewis, made history when he took the stage in the title role. And it's safe to say that he has brought with him a different perspective to the man behind the mask. It's hours before curtain. Hey, Hi. How are you? Hey. And actor Norm Lewis is in makeup, preparing for his landmark debut as Broadway's Phantom of the Opera. Slowly, gently. Night unfurls its splendor, grasp it. This moment would be very emotional for any actor about to tackle such an iconic role. Right. But for you and for what this represents as an actor of color, mm -hmm. uh, is it more emotional? I think it is. I mean, I feel very honored and I, and I hope that I make not only uh, everyone who's involved proud, uh, hopefully this will open up a lot of doors for people of color. And listen to the music of the night. Close your eyes. It's been a long and unlikely road for Lewis, a lanky kid from Florida with a big voice. I was going to work in the business world, probably advertising. And what was it? What was the experience that, that turned you from business to show business? Well, funny enough, I was entering a lot of different contests in Orlando singing contest and this one particular one that I won there was a judge in the audience and he was a producer for a cruise ship and he came up to me afterwards and said how would you like to sing on my cruise so I thought about it and I talked to my supervisor at work and she said you don't want to be 85 saying coulda woulda shoulda go for it try it if it doesn't work out at least you tried and you can always come back to what you love good advice yeah yeah and I'm not I didn't go back <laughs> <laughs> Instead, he went forward. Lewis landed his first Broadway show as part of the ensemble in The Who's Tommy in 1993. From there, he progressed, eventually landing starring roles in The Little Mermaid and Porgy and Bess. Which got him a Tony nomination and put him center stage. And you might recognize him as Senator Edison Davis on TV's Scandal. I'm a very lucky man. Lewis himself admits that he has indeed been lucky. Still, he says, some leading roles have been hard to reach for actors of color. Is the world of acting, particularly if you are a guy who looks like a leading man, mm -hmm. more difficult for an actor of color? Yes. Yeah, blatantly and point blank, yes. Even the Phantom of the Opera, which does not come with a description of race, has traditionally gone to white actors. Though Robert Guillaume played the role in a 1990 Los Angeles production, of the now 14 actors to be cast as the Phantom on Broadway over its 26-year run, Lewis is the only African-American. <laughs> He's a brilliant actor and a brilliant performer and a brilliant singer. Musical theater legend Andrew Lloyd Webber created the character for the stage. He says it is an actor's presence, not color, that is important to the role. One quality that you, you have to have, which is total charisma on stage, because, because you're behind the mask, you need the authority, I think is possibly a better word. You have to have that authority to really bring the role off. While Lewis embraces the historical significance of being Broadway's first black phantom, he is at heart an actor and performer, one who has landed the role of a lifetime. <laughs> I know it's cliche to say, but it's beyond my wildest dreams. You know, when I walked out at the end and just the applause and the ovation that we were getting, I wanted to cry. 
And Lewis just recently re-upped with the production and will be on stage at the Majestic Theater at least through the first week of February. So you can still catch him yeah, there. Yeah, it's a treat. Mm. It's a real treat. Jamie and I went on a date to see him. We did. Yeah. And I was blown away by him. I think he's the best phantom there's ever been on Broadway, historical achievement aside. Wonderful. Right. Jamie, a lot. Thank you.